Hello and welcome to Shamanic Download number eight and this one is on the topic of how shamanic ancestral work can transform even skeptics like me. <laughs> um, it just occurred to me, oh and if you don't already know, I am Leanne Brooke Tyler and this is one of a series of short videos, 10-15 minutes max, where I'm sharing all kinds of experience, insights, revelations <laughs> that I'm taking from my time in the woods deep in shamanic practice. It occurred to me as I was pondering whether to do one of these today, and as you can see, I am doing one of these today, that I've actually shared very little so far about anything that's like directly related to shamanic work itself, uh, which is fine. I've been just sharing the experiences that have come up for me. And so far, most of them haven't really been, I guess, directly to do with shamanism. They've been more um, experiences I'm taking from Mm, aspects of the initiations and ceremonies rather than something that's sort of strictly speaking shamanism and what I'm going to talk about today is kind of a surprise for me to talk about in that although it might seem to you watching this given I'm training in shamanism, given so much of my life and work is around magic, it may seem that I'm kind of like all in and don't have these places that I'm skeptical about magic. The truth is, <laughs> um, I have been incredibly skeptical and resistant to magic and to shamanism. I really have been dragged kicking and screaming onto this path by soul and spirit and despite really devoting to this path it's not to say there aren't still places and ways that I still resist I still am very questioning still mm, like mm. well even though I've now had so many experiences that are undeniable in terms of magic being real there's definitely aspects where I'm like mm, maybe not here though maybe that's a bit kind of like mm, either a metaphor or people wanting to believe things that aren't actually as they are and certainly ancestral work has been one of those things. So it's a big part, for those of you who don't know, is a big part of shamanism. And it's been something that I'm engaging in, again, with that kind of, it's weirdly kind of like submitting fully to the work whilst somehow simultaneously being like, is what's happening really happening? That I'm in that place a lot of the time. And I think I am, and it's interesting kind of like noticing what I'm feeling as I'm about to say these words. I think based on the experiences I've had recently, I think I can say I'm now also convinced the ancestral work is real too. And I'm not going to share really specific details of very much of my own experiences so far. There's various reasons for that. Some of them involve other people. Um, and some of it is just secret because it's magic. What I will share is one particular experience, which is I didn't realize the places I had blockages until it was revealed to me via the um, specific shamanic practices involving ancestors. So differently said, 
if if you are and I believe you probably are because you're watching this if you are in the work of self-illumination shadow integration you are going to be very interested in the places that you have that shadow those places that old wounds are blocking you and I can see now there were places I had shadow that so far had not been illuminated until I did this work. And so again, one specific example, I um, have found that has been this real, um, I guess a portal into seeing so much more about this work was I have I'd never been to my father's grave for reasons I'm not going to get into very complex painful involves people still living that I don't want to kind of share their stuff but in short I my father died in 2012 he his ashes were interred into a plot in 2013 and despite the fact he and I were incredibly close um and despite the fact I kind of honour him and his memory in all kinds of ways, I'd never been to his grave. And the truth is, it never even occurred to me to go to his grave for, again, reasons I'm not going to go into. But I had made my peace that that wasn't necessary and I had accepted that. And, and from the point I'd accepted I wasn't going to go to his grave, it never even occurred to me as something that could be... Um, in any way useful for me to do. And then during an ancestral ceremony, out of the blue, it was revealed to me that I needed to go and do exactly that. And it was so clear, so, I say, completely out of the blue, like, boom, saw myself in a vision at his grave and I came out of that ceremony just reeling, like, oh my goodness, like this, I could not have predicted that. And why would that even be something I need to do? That I was so like, just bewildered and surprised that that's what I needed to do, that I just had no understanding of it. I then went um, last Monday, so not this week, a week ago, before my last uh, shamanic initiation, I did a ceremony there at his grave. And I can now see, and this was also confirmed in my last ancestral ceremony since then, that has unblocked places in me I didn't even know were blocked. It has allowed me to integrate shadow in places I had no idea I had shadow. It has allowed me to open to receive love um, in ways that I'm still still really um, adjusting to, like the, the level of love that is possible for me to receive is still something my system is adjusting to. So... The reason I'm sharing all of this is, again, how we can allow this scepticism, this not knowing why something might work and therefore holding ourselves back from submitting to it. Um, and what I've seen about allowing myself to do so anyway. And so there's two parts to this. One, how we can do that in life when we're feeling the call to something, even without knowing how or even if this might be a real thing that's of benefit if we feel that call to submit and we submit anyway how we can be so deeply rewarded the second thing is again specifically talking about ancestral work how regardless whether we really um are able to see this um I guess this, these lineages that we have are still being something that has energetic resonance, has meaning for us, even if we only see at the outset as looking at these places we've got blockages to our ancestors, including living ancestors, but particularly our dead ancestors. Both of my parents are dead, so for me this is particularly present. But the way that we're blocked to receiving them fully 
are also the places we are blocked receiving ourselves and life fully. So as ever, I'd love to know your reflections, questions, what came up for you when watching this. And for the moment, that's me done on this particular shamanic download. I have no idea in advance what I'm going to share in the next one, but I did take a lot from my last shamanic initiation last weekend. So I will be here back sharing on some other insight, the revelation download very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.